Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to uh, write or create your research project using my Word AI. You know, as a student, writing a research project is one of the most challenging tasks you have to deal with in school. It can be overwhelming and time consuming, and you may find it challenging to come up with original content that meets your instructor's requirement. However, with my Word AI, you can make the whole process easier and achieve impressive results. My Word AI is an online platform that uses artificial intelligence, especially GPT-4, to, uh, to write articles and uh, school projects. It is an efficient tool that helps you to create unique content. In a matter of minutes, by using this website, you avoid plagiarism and ensure that your work is 100% original. You can find my Word AI also on Google Play Store. Is there you search my word AI one word and then download it? Here is how you can write a school research project using my word AI. The first thing you need to do is entering the site, uh, you log in, you go to the site mywordai.com, then you log in, and then you click on create content. Once you click on create content, it leads you to these templates. You see here, educational research, business plan, cover letter, blog, social media, content, and website. Now, we are here on educational research. So, the first thing you need to do is, what is your uh, project topic? Like here, our project topic is impact of electoral reform on election credibility in Nigeria. That is the topic we are going to be working with. The first thing we'll do is to create research questions because in all the uh, chapters we are going to be dealing with, is going to be requesting for both the project topic and the research question. Here you see how it generates this automatically. It's, it's like the best app right now in Nigeria. So we click here. Unlike uh, while it's opening, I want to... Okay, it's open. So what's the difference between my Word AI and ChatGPT? You've been seeing. My Word AI is actually tailored, tailored to answer specific personalized questions. It's already, the template has already been done using G, uh, GPT-4 uh, as a model and other GPT like GPT-3.5 model here. So I put here, I'm trying to generate my research question. I put here the research topic as you are seeing it here. Then let me reduce my maximum uh, result content to 100 or 50. Let me reduce it to 50. Okay, I've reduced it and then I click generate. It's generating. That's why you see this. You see, it's loading. I'll, I'll wait. You can see it has finished loading. Now I'll copy the first two. Maybe I don't need this. That's not complete. So this is the first two I'm going to be working with. What specific electoral reform have been implemented in Nigeria and how has they how have they contributed to election credibility? How has the attitude of perception of Nigerian citizens towards election and all that? So I copy this. Let me save it somewhere because I will be needing it. So when you generate your research question, please endeavor to save it somewhere because you need it throughout your research. Okay. So I finished with that. I want to, the next step is for me to go to, go back to, uh, I need to create my abstract. As we start to, from now, I go back to create content. I click on create content. It opens. Now, once it opens, I go back to my educational research tab and then I click on it. You see the abstract here. I click on the abstract and then it opens. I will, you can see what are the, what are the research questions. Now I paste my research questions and then I, I bring in my research topic. In few minutes, my abstract is done. I've done that. Let me copy it again. Just to be sure. OK. 
Okay. I copy. No, I have not paste. <laughs> Let me type it. Uh, impact of electoral reform on election credibility in Nigeria. Impact. Okay. Is it already? Now, uh, and then I want to create and uh, reduce this to three, depending on your number of words you have here. So I'm ready to go. I click here. So you see, I'm generating abstract. You can see it here. Research project abstract. First thing I put here is research topic. The second thing are the research questions which I generated in the last, uh, this thing you just saw. So I click here. So it's generating now. It's generating now. In a few minutes, it will be done. You can see it's rolling, it's rolling. In a few minutes, it will be done. A few minutes, it will be done. Oh, fine, it's done. Now, this is it. The purpose of this study is to investigate the impact of electoral reform on election credibility in Nigeria. Specifically, this research aims to answer two major questions. What specific electoral reform, what specific electoral reform have been implemented in Nigeria and how have they contributed to election credibility? And two, and these are that, 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 that. Now, this is abstract. I'm done with this. If I want to save this, I can just copy, can just say, can save this by copying the question. And then I call it abstract. Let me put it in capsule. Abstract. See that? And then I can save. Every save jobs go straight to the document. I click all documents. You can see it to be there so that I can reuse it. Okay, it's opening. Okay, tap. You can see it. Is there already? Is there already? So <clears throat> that's how it's done. Thank you.